China has indeed emerged as a global leader in nanotechnology research and development. This leadership is evident across various metrics, including scientific publications, patents, and investments in nanotechnology-related industries. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. Here are some key facts and figures that highlight China's dominant position in this field. 1. Research Output China has been a prolific producer of scientific literature in nanotechnology. According to various analyses, China has been publishing a large number of research articles in nanotechnology, often surpassing other countries in terms of both quantity and, increasingly, quality. This output reflects a strong emphasis on nanotechnology research within the country's scientific community. 2. Patents China has also been very active in patenting nanotechnology-related inventions. The country has been among the top filers of nanotechnology patents globally, indicating a strong focus on translating research findings into practical applications and securing intellectual property rights. 3. Investment The Chinese government has made significant investments in nanotechnology research and development. This includes funding for basic research, applied research, and the development of nanotechnology-based products. Such investments aim to support innovation, foster industrial growth, and maintain a competitive edge in emerging technologies. 4. Infrastructure and Institutions China has established numerous research institutions and centers dedicated to nanotechnology. These include national laboratories, university-based research centers, and industry-led innovation hubs. Such infrastructure supports collaborative research and facilitates the exchange of knowledge and expertise among scientists and engineers. 5. Industrial Development Beyond research, China has been actively developing industries that leverage nanotechnology. This includes sectors such as electronics, materials science, energy, and healthcare. The country's focus on nanotechnology is part of a broader strategy to transition towards a more innovation-driven economy and reduce reliance on traditional manufacturing. 6. International Collaboration While China has a strong domestic research and development ecosystem, it also engages in international collaboration in nanotechnology. Chinese researchers and institutions often partner with counterparts from other countries, contributing to global scientific progress and innovation in nanotechnology. 7. Regulatory Framework Recognizing the potential risks associated with nanotechnology, China has also been working on developing a regulatory framework to manage the health, safety, and environmental impacts of nanotechnology applications. This includes guidelines for the responsible development and use of nanomaterials. China's cutting-edge nanotechnology innovations span a wide range of industries, from electronics and energy to healthcare and environmental applications. These innovations are not only advancing scientific frontiers but also driving industrial development and economic growth. Here are some notable examples of China's nanotechnology innovations and their impact on various industries. 1. Electronics and Photonics Chinese researchers have developed flexible and stretchable electronic devices using nanomaterials. These innovations are crucial for the next generation of wearable technology, flexible displays, and smart textiles. China has made significant advances in quantum dot technology, which has applications in high-definition displays, photovoltaics, and biomedical imaging. Companies in China are among the world's leading producers of quantum dot materials. 2. Energy. China is at the forefront of developing advanced batteries, including lithium-ion, solid-state, and sodium-ion batteries. Nanotechnology is used to enhance energy density, reduce charging times, and improve safety, supporting the growth of electric vehicles and energy storage solutions. Chinese companies and research institutions are leading in the development of high-efficiency solar cells using nanomaterials. Perovskite solar cells, in particular, have been a focus due to their potential for low-cost, high-efficiency energy conversion. 3. Healthcare. Nanotechnology is being used to develop targeted drug delivery systems that can improve the efficacy of treatments while reducing side effects. Chinese researchers are exploring nanoparticles for delivering cancer drugs and vaccines. 
China is developing advanced biosensors using nanotechnology for early disease detection and monitoring. These sensors can detect biomarkers with high sensitivity and specificity. 4. Environmental Applications Nanotechnology is being applied to create more efficient water filtration systems. Chinese researchers have developed nanomaterials for removing pollutants and pathogens from water, contributing to solutions for clean water challenges. Innovations in nanomaterials are being used to develop better air filters and catalysts for reducing harmful emissions. This is particularly relevant for improving air quality in urban areas. 5. Materials Science China has developed nanomaterial-based coatings that offer enhanced properties such as self-cleaning, anti-corrosion, and thermal resistance. These coatings have applications in construction, automotive, and aerospace industries. The use of nanomaterials in composite materials is being explored for creating stronger, lighter, and more durable products. This has implications for the automotive, aerospace, and sports equipment industries. Traditional technology, while having brought about significant advancements and conveniences to society, faces several challenges that limit its capabilities and efficiency. These challenges underscore the need for advanced nanotechnology solutions, which can offer innovative ways to overcome these limitations. Here are some key challenges faced by traditional technology and how nanotechnology can address them. 1. Size and Scalability Limitations Traditional technology often operates at macroscopic scales, which can be limiting in applications requiring manipulation or integration at the molecular level. Nanotechnology allows for the manipulation of matter at the atomic and molecular scales, enabling the creation of materials and devices with unprecedented properties and functions. This scalability is crucial for applications in electronics, biomedicine, and materials science. 2. Energy Efficiency Many traditional technologies are energy-intensive, leading to high operational costs and environmental impacts. Nanotechnology can enhance energy efficiency through the development of more efficient solar cells, better batteries, and energy-saving coatings. For example, nanomaterials can improve the performance of photovoltaic cells, leading to higher energy conversion efficiencies. 3. Materials Performance Traditional materials may have limitations in terms of strength, durability, and functionality, which can be critical in industries such as aerospace, construction, and automotive. Advanced nanomaterials, such as carbon nanotubes and graphene, offer superior mechanical, electrical, and thermal properties. Incorporating these materials can lead to lighter, stronger, and more functional components and structures. 4. Healthcare and Drug Delivery Traditional drug delivery methods can be inefficient, leading to side effects due to lack of targeting and controlled release. Nanotechnology enables the development of targeted drug delivery systems that can specifically reach diseased cells, reducing off-target effects and improving treatment efficacy. Nanoparticles can be designed to respond to specific biological cues for controlled release. 5. Environmental Impact Many traditional technologies have significant environmental impacts, including pollution, waste generation, and resource depletion. Nanotechnology can contribute to environmental sustainability through the development of cleaner manufacturing processes, more efficient use of materials, and technologies for pollution remediation. For example, nanomaterials can be used in water filtration systems to remove pollutants more effectively. 6. Information and Communication Technology ICT. Traditional ICT systems are reaching physical limits in terms of miniaturization and processing speed, as predicted by Moore's Law. Nanotechnology offers new pathways for ICT advancement, including the development of quantum computing, spintronics, and novel data storage solutions that can surpass the limitations of current semiconductor technology. 7. Biocompatibility and Biointegration Traditional materials and devices may not be fully compatible with biological systems, limiting their application in medical implants and bioelectronics. Nanomaterials can be engineered to be biocompatible and even bioactive, integrating more seamlessly with biological tissues and enabling new therapeutic and diagnostic devices. China's investment in nanotechnology research is part of a broader strategy to become a global leader in science and technology. 
The country's commitment to nanotechnology is evident from its significant investments in research infrastructure, key projects, and collaborations that drive innovation in this field. Here are some aspects of China's investment and initiatives in nanotechnology. 1. Government Funding and Support the Chinese government has allocated substantial funds to nanotechnology research through various programs and initiatives. Key sources of funding include the National Natural Science Foundation of China (NSFC), the Ministry of Science and Technology (MOST), and the National Development and Reform Commission (NDRC). These funds support basic research, applied research, and the development of nanotechnology-based products. 2. Research Infrastructure China has established numerous research institutions and centers dedicated to nanotechnology. These include national laboratories, university-based research centers, and industry-led innovation hubs. Examples include the National Center for Nanoscience and Technology NCNST, in Beijing, which is a leading institution for nanoscience research and collaboration, and the Suzhou Institute of Nanotech and Nanobionics SINANO, of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, which focuses on nanotechnology applications in electronics, energy, and biomedicine. 3. Key Projects China has launched several key projects and initiatives to advance nanotechnology. One example is the National Basic Research Program of China, 973 program, which includes projects related to nanoscience and technology. These projects aim to achieve breakthroughs in fundamental science and address national strategic needs. Another example is the Thousand Talents program, which aims to attract top scientists from around the world to work in China. This program has facilitated the establishment of numerous research groups and projects in nanotechnology. 4. Industry-Academia Collaboration Collaboration between academia and industry is a cornerstone of China's nanotechnology strategy. Many universities and research institutions have established partnerships with companies to translate research findings into commercial products. This collaborative approach is facilitated by government policies that encourage technology transfer and the establishment of high-tech enterprises. 5. International Collaboration While China invests heavily in domestic research, it also engages in international collaboration to access global expertise and markets. Chinese researchers and institutions participate in international research projects, conferences, and publications. They also collaborate with foreign universities and companies to exchange knowledge and technology. 6. Focus on strategic areas. China's investment in nanotechnology research is focused on strategic areas that are deemed critical for national development and competitive advantage. These include energy storage, renewable energy, information technology, biomedicine, and environmental technologies. By concentrating resources on these areas, China aims to achieve leadership in industries of the future. 7. Entrepreneurship and Startups The Chinese government supports entrepreneurship and the success of entrepreneurs in the nanotechnology sector. Incubators, science parks, and venture capital funds facilitate the establishment and growth of nanotechnology-based startups. This ecosystem encourages innovation and the rapid scaling of new technologies. One breakthrough application of nanotechnology from China that is reshaping industries is the development of high-performance lithium-ion batteries with significantly improved energy density and safety features. This advancement is particularly relevant to the electric vehicle, EV, and energy storage sectors, addressing the critical need for batteries that can support longer driving ranges and faster charging times while maintaining stability and durability. Chinese researchers and companies have been at the forefront of developing new electrode materials, electrolytes, and battery architectures at the nanoscale to enhance battery performance. For example, the use of silicon nanoparticles as an anode material has been explored to increase the energy density, as silicon can theoretically store more lithium ions than the traditionally used graphite. Additionally, solid-state electrolytes based on nanomaterials are being developed to improve safety by reducing the risk of thermal runaway, a common issue with conventional lithium-ion batteries. A notable example is the work by the contemporary Amperex technology company. Limited, CATL one of China's leading battery manufacturers. CATL has announced the development of several advanced battery technologies, including their CTP, cell-to-pack, technology, 
which increases energy density by eliminating the module assembly process, and their sodium-ion batteries as an alternative to lithium-ion batteries for applications where the cost is a critical factor. Moreover, Chinese researchers have been exploring the use of nanowires and other nanostructured materials to improve the conductivity and stability of battery electrodes. These innovations not only increase the efficiency of energy storage but also extend the lifespan of batteries, making them more sustainable and cost-effective in the long run. The impact of these nanotechnology-driven advancements in battery technology is far-reaching. They are enabling the wider adoption of electric vehicles by reducing range anxiety and making EVs more competitive with internal combustion engine vehicles. Additionally, these high-performance batteries are crucial for the development of reliable and efficient energy storage systems for renewable energy sources like solar and wind, helping to integrate these intermittent sources into the grid more effectively. China's leadership in advanced battery technology demonstrates the potential of nanotechnology to drive revolutionary changes in industries and contribute to global efforts in reducing carbon emissions and combating climate change. China's contributions to nanotechnology are significant and multifaceted, reflecting a national strategy to become a global leader in science and technology. Through substantial investments in research, the development of advanced infrastructure, and a focus on strategic industries, China has positioned itself at the forefront of nanotechnology innovation. The country's role in shaping the future of nanotechnology and its applications is profound, with implications for economic development, environmental sustainability, and global competitiveness. China's emphasis on nanotechnology is not only advancing scientific knowledge but also driving practical applications that can address societal challenges, from energy storage and renewable energy to healthcare and environmental remediation. The country's success in commercializing nanotechnology-based products and integrating them into various industries is a testament to its strategic approach to innovation. Moreover, China's collaborations, both domestically and internationally, are fostering a dynamic ecosystem for nanotechnology research and development. By engaging with global partners, China is contributing to the international scientific community while also attracting talent and technology that further enhance its capabilities in this field. Looking ahead, China's ongoing efforts in nanotechnology are likely to yield more breakthroughs and applications that will reshape industries and influence global technological trends. As nanotechnology continues to evolve, China's contributions will be instrumental in defining the future landscape of this transformative science, with potential benefits for society, the economy, and the environment worldwide. If you are interested in learning more about the latest technology development in China, please check out other videos on our channel. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching our China Tech Update. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like, and share our video. We will bring you more similar contents like this one. Thank you again for watching.